Big thanks to Arm & Hammer Baking Soda for sponsoring this video. Happy New Year! I hope you had an awesome holiday. Uh, this is part two of the video, so let me tell you what we did briefly in part one. First, we showed you how to make an awesome moldable clay with Arm & Hammer Baking Soda. We then took this formula and tweaked it slightly, made a ton of this material to create three different life-size sleds. The first is called the Soda Sled Flyer. This is a solid piece of soda clay mixture shaped into a traditional sled. Our second concept is called the Bricky Boy. This is a sled made from soda clay bricks that we oven baked with a second layer of polyurethane spray foam. Our third concept sled is called the Winter Barrow. This is basically the soda sled flyer, but with a different shape. The dish was molded in a wheelbarrow top, hence the name Winter Barrow. Now that these sleds are totally dry, we're gonna add some spray foam. Now we're doing this for two reasons. One, so that we have a cushy top layer so that when we're sitting on it or kneeling on it or whatever, it doesn't actually hurt our knees or butt, um, but also so that it holds the entire sled together uh, much better. Always make sure to wear the proper safety equipment. So here's my thought. We already have this polyethylene sheeting. And so what I wanna do is I wanna cut it to where it kinda wraps around. Because as you can see, we have a problem! What happened is, when I was trying to take a thumbnail for the other video, I had picked this thing up and it actually just cracked right in my hands. It wasn't totally dry yet. Oh, oh no! So this was totally my bad. Totally my B. But I think if we put the spray foam down over top and then wrap this polyethylene like that, uh, I think we should be in a good position. I think we can actually wrap this whole thing in polyethylene, um, except for maybe perhaps the sides. And then that way, the, the actual sled itself is this baking soda mixture, uh, but then we can kind of guarantee that it's gonna slide on the snow. I think that's gonna be the best way to go about it. So this is the winter barrow, and I think we're gonna do the same thing, just to keep them all very consistent. I'll just fold it in completely like this all the way around. That thing's pretty dope. You should go a little easy on that spray foam. What? No, dude! Make a nice little tight seal. Now for our final step, we're gonna give these sleds some color. We're gonna be using orange for Bricky Boy, light blue for the Winter Barrow, and red for the Soda Sled Flyer. We're also gonna add a decal uh, as a little reminder for what these sleds are actually made out of. We came out to Mount High to test our sleds. We're gonna start with Bricky Boy and then we're just gonna go down with the rest of them. It's gonna be really interesting. We have the whole sled hill to ourselves. It's gonna be awesome. Test number one, Bricky Boy. I'm gonna sit on it like a traditional sled, sled and then I'll, once I get into it, we'll see what happens. <laughs> it works! Complete success for Bricky Boy. I think we can go faster. Pretty good for something made out of baking soda. Real big problem, the sled has broke in half. Uh, the, it was the spray foam actually that broke in half, not the actual baking soda cornstarch mixture. Also again with the foam back here, it's coming off the plastic. This sled is in bad shape. I'm gonna try to get one more run out of it and we'll see what happens. All right guys, we got three really good runs out of this. Uh, it has split in half completely. It has removed itself from the plastic sheet underneath. There's really not much more else we can do. I would say it did its job. It worked really, really well in the beginning. Um, and I think this is where it lies. I think it's time to move on to the next sleds. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's definitely good we put the plastic sheet underneath. Just by itself, would not have moved on the snow at all. All right, so for our next test, we're gonna be testing the winter barrow. <laughs> it's a little short. Oh. 
Oh gosh. Okay, so not the best one. Uh, I would say at this point, Bricky Boy has performed much better. We at least got down the hill, but the problem I can already sense right now is, is that all of the baking soda cornstarch mixture has broken underneath. It's like crumbs shoved in a bag with foam on top. I'm gonna try something else, and I'm gonna try to just do this on my chest. I'm just gonna try to like beeline it down through this hill. I think I'm gonna try to duct tape it. When all else fails, duct tape. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I feel like I should just do the rest just because for a, for a glory run. How embarrassing. Gosh! Okay, so Winter Barrow, not as good as Bricky Boy, but we have one more sled to test. Okay, for our last test, we're going to use the soda sled flyer. I'm actually gonna proactively put some duct tape on the sides to try to keep it all together. Uh, but let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna have to run it this way. <laughs> okay, I think I can do better. I think it's a duct tape. Definitely the duct tape. We're gonna we're gonna peel all the duct tape off. Just kind of tuck it up top. One more time. So as bonus, just for fun, uh, we're going to make sure that this works by actually installing a plastic sled underneath of the soda sled flyer, just because I just want to bomb this hill one time. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we got it to work with a regular plastic sled. Here's what we learned. Bricky Boy was just the best by far. I got down there, it was super smooth. It was a nice ride. Then number two coming in second place would be the Winter Barrow. And then in third place, the Soda Sled Flyer. I think the reason for this is, is that by oven baking the material, it made it really solid and really hard. So that material uh, was a match against the snow and the ice. Letting it air dry was not a good match against the snow and ice. Uh, anything that we let air dry, it pretty much just crumbled and broke, and that was the problem. We, we didn't have enough rigidity in order for us to have a good sled. Uh, overall though, we got down the hill at least halfway or all the way with all the sleds. So I would say a total success there, uh, but Bricky Boy definitely performed the best. Okay, there we go. We showed you how to make some Arm & Hammer baking soda clay for some fun holiday activities. We then tweaked this formula and made a supersized version as a sled that actually worked. Thanks again to Arm & Hammer Baking Soda for sponsoring this video. Let me know in the comment section below what else you would make with this soda clay mixture. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you really soon.